Hello and welcome to a Sunday special episode. Today we'll be doing R-Type Dimensions, uh, which is a remake of R-Type 1 and 2. So we're, we're just playing this for fun. Sorry about that, the camera sort of moved. Uh, this game can be played in the new style or the old style. It does have a button to change it. So well, let's begin. I will be doing the all game in one shot. Although I'm not too good at this, so uh, we will be using endless mode. Single player, infinite mode. So let's begin with stage one. As you can see, you can go back and forth between the graphics, which is cool. Let's get a bit more sound on. You can charge up by your wave cannon. And, and just blast the enemies. Uh, our type is all about patterns. And uh, if you... Get rid of that guy. Watch out for these enemies down here. Being a pain. Uh, there's a ton of enemies here. Um, the R Type series has a lot of games in it that aren't actually R Type games for surviving. Oops, and I buggered up there. I believe the start of the time one starts with a game called Image Fight, which is another Irem shooter of a different nature. To get rid of them, just destroy that. Ah, uh, the bouncy lasers. Um. And there's a few other Iron games that are R type which fit in. All these games was linked in with the game R type Final, where you can have a multitude of uh, ships. Uh, there's also an R type strategy RPG, uh, which had two games made, <coughs> but only the first one was released in the UK, so I haven't played the second one. And here we are, the first boss of the game, a very famous boss, the Deco Tokotrops. It is um, known as a dimensional gatekeeper. And there we go, as he's down. Not too difficult of a boss. <coughs> right, first mission done, let's go to the next. This game gets progressively harder the further you get into it. <laughs> Let's see these down here. Yeah, I'd like to hide in all this junk. That increases his movement speed. Uh, the Bido themselves are pretty nasty. They're made up of a physical body and they're also part waveform, which is really weird. But it might have something to do with black magic being made in the creation of them. They, they can infect basically anything and turn it to Bido. Be it organic, inorganic, you name it, they can turn it to Bido. Even empty space. Uh. It doesn't matter if it's in this dimension or the next. Uh, oh, this thing's in my Ah, oh, damn it. I want the DNA laser. Right, 
not gonna have lost my bit. And there's the boss of this level. Uh, the weak points, the um, eye there. You get here, you should be fine. Ah, dang it. I took a hit. You don't normally take a hit there, but sometimes you can. Uh, these bosses do run on a time as well. And there we go, another boss down. <coughs> uh, that's an improvement for this level, two lives. Last time I did it, it was ten. Uh, this level's the um, classic spaceship level. Yeah, this, this thing just wants you to Alright. Yeah, so by those are pretty terrible. Uh, the game are type final. It's, um, it's pretty grim if you look at it. Because the game starts, humanity is at its last, all their resources have been totally knackered. What they're basically using are museum ships to fight this final offensive, but it doesn't go well. Uh, and the Bible are pretty hard to destroy. Wave cannons are the only things that can really destroy them. Um, no. Another level done. Sorry about that, I've got a bit of a cold coming up. Okay. So, here we go for the next level. Let's begin. These are my missile launchers. Yeah, this enemy, uh, this level can be a bit of a pain to navigate because of all the bridge builders. Ah, bit. That can come in handy. Oh, damn it, I caught me off guard there. And there's supposed to be some sort of secret here, but I've never found it. Uh, 
Alright, and here we are at the boss. This boss is quite a nice, you have to destroy uh, three parts of it. And you can't actually damage it till it opens up. And down. I'm use, I've got no shame about using right frames there. That's quite an annoying boss to fight. <coughs> I'm already doing better than I was on the other one, except for level 1 where I lost one life. Yeah, blowing these worms up, the entire body just comes apart. This level is a bit of a pain. Ah, took a bit. Uh, this our type is fun though. If I've seen people do perfect runs of this. I don't know how they've managed it. Ah. Ah, the eyeballs. Yeah, this boss is a bit of a pain. You have to blow away his layers. Anyway, ooh, yes, that can happen on this game. Sometimes the bosses just say, "Screw it, I'm running away." Ah, oh, this level's a complete pain in the backside. Oh man, I'm taking so many deaths. <laughs> I, this isn't my favourite level. Oh, 
Okay, oh, we're getting through. area it's just basically these it's a complete pain stuff coming at you you have to react really fast but I'm still doing better I better reuse the assets here that looks like the bit from the first level uh, the gimmick with this level everything's falling apart As I said, I'm not very good at this game. That's why I love Infinite Mode. <laughs> but you get to see the old game. It's everything wants me dead. I'm in some sort of bullet hole hell now. So the, those things stop firing missiles at me. And here we are at the boss. Oh well, we're doing sort of well. Oh, we got it. <coughs> Ooh, last time that took me sixteen, and now it took me twenty two. Okay, so we're on the final level. Let's get this over with. These enemies will not stop spawning, though. Complete pain. Ooh. And you can't destroy that orb of death. Um, our type, so I'd recommend checking out um, our type 3 third lightning on the Super Nintendo. That is one of the best R-Type games you can play. But don't play the Game Boy Advance 
virgin because it's um, not so good. The sort of botched it. And here we are to the final boss. The key to this fight, it's really a damn awkward. <laughs> And I want the force in the front. It is to launch the force into its mouth. And I got killed at the same time it went in. Very, very, very difficult. And I can't really go out about this because they're just magnetizing straight to me, which is bullshit. <laughs> And it dies anyway. Oof. Yeah, that part of the level's complete nonsense. You can't do all about it when it sticks to you. Now let's enjoy the ending. I would have liked if all these guys would have helped me out, but no. So it says, Thanks to your brave fighting, the cosmos restored peace. The Baidu Empire was annihilated to never strike people again. Your name will remain in the universe forever. Thank you for playing the game to the end. Well, as we all know with the R-Type universe, the Baidu always come back. Never truly can be defeated. And uh, thank you for watching R-Type Dimensions. Hope to see you on the next Let's Play. Have a good day.